Okay, what we're doing now is we're uh, balancing, static wheel balancing a BMW GS wheel. And you can see I've got the Mark Parnes balancer and I'm just using regular automotive jack stands that I have here around the house. This also has the uh, Mark Parnes adapter for the GS wheel since it's a big hub. And I'll show you the other side. And it has an adapter that screws in with two thumb screws and then it balances. And this wheel's traditionally, I've had this wheel, this wheel's got about 13,000 miles on it. And uh, it, uh, it, it takes quite a bit of weight to balance this wheel. I'll show you what we've got on here right now. Um, I've got uh, 20 quarter ounce weights on there right now. And this wheel's always taken that much weight. I posted a video on how to clean the, the goo off of there. And you can see it's probably still maybe a half ounce short, but it balances out pretty nice. It was the stem, the valve stem, which has the TPMS sensor on it, is a little bit heavy on these and it always goes to the bottom on that. But you can see it's just barely moving now. It would swing down there like a clock pendulum. So right now it's pretty well balanced out. I'm within a, I'm at within a quarter ounce. So this is how you'd balance. Um, I just took, uh, the blue painters tape and just start stick just start sticking uh, weights on there till you get it balanced and you figure out how much you need then you cut your strips and apply them on there they have self-adhesive backing on which is really difficult to get off but that's uh that's static balancing see the stem is not swinging all the way to the bottom like it was it was swinging all the way to the bottom so that's static balancing a wheel